Welcome to Sunday School for ages 15 to 17 for April 18, 2021. I do not own the rights to this music. Plan for restoration. The Bible basis says Nehemiah chapter 2 verses 11 through 20 and Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 1 through 22. The Bible truth says, Nehemiah, the captive cupbearer, rebuilds a nation. Dude, you can't be serious, Jaden said, wrinkling his nose. You're going to bail on hanging out with us so you can volunteer at the soup kitchen? Will cringed and shrugged. I know it sounds lame, but I promised my mom and my church group. Jaden scoffed. Do you really think you're going to be able to help those people? Giving them a bowl of soup and a roll isn't going to fix their lives or get them to come to your church. You're not going to save them. Seems like a waste of time to me. Will hesitated and then said, uh, I know, I totally get it, and you're probably right. But like I said, I promised my mom. I'll see if I can get out of it. If I do, I'll let you know. Then Will quickly walked away, feeling ashamed. What was that all about? asked Erica as she caught up with Will. You look weirdly nervous. They were giving me grief about helping my mom at the soup kitchen. Will said, I caved under pressure and told them, I tried to get out of it. Instead of sticking up for my faith, I wimped out. Well, Jaden doesn't understand faith or how to be nice to people, Erica said. I wouldn't worry about what he thinks. You're not actually thinking about skipping the soup kitchen event, are you? Uh, sort of, Will said. I don't want Jaden and the guys to make fun of me. You can't let other people pressure you, especially when it comes to your faith. Erica said, I struggle sometimes too, but God has called us to live out our faith and help those in need. As my uncle says, you've got to give your faith some feet. You're right, Will said. I just wish it were easier. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The lesson scripture, beginning at Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days, and I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night, by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up in the night by the brook and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went or what I did. Neither had I as yet told it to the Jews nor to the priest nor to the nobles nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, 
and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us, re let us build the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Sambalat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem the Aramean heard it, they laughed us to scorn, and despised us, and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 1 through 22 reads, On that day they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people, and therein was found written, that the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever, because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. Howbeit our God turned the curse into a blessing. Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. And before this, Eliashib the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied unto Tobiah. And he had prepared for him a great chamber, where aforetime they laid the meat offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the corn, the new wine, and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the offerings of the priests. But in all this time was not I at Jerusalem, for in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, came I unto the king, and after certain days obtained I leave of the king. And I came to Jerusalem and understood of the evil that Eliashib did for Tobiah in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me sore. Therefore I cast forth all the household stuff to Tobiah out of the chamber. Then I commanded and they cleansed the chambers and thither brought I again the vessels of the house of God with the meat offering and the frankincense. And I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, for the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled, every one to his field. Then contended I with the rulers, and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together, and set them in their place. Then brought all Judah the tithe of the corn, and the new wine, and the oil unto the treasuries. And I made treasurers over the treasuries, Shelemiah the priest, and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Pediah. And next to them was Hanan the son of Zachar, the son of Mataniah, for they were counted faithful, and their office was to distribute unto their brethren. Remember me, O God, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof. In those days saw I in Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in sheaves, and lading donkeys, as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish, and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath, unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do and profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers thus and did not our God bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath. I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath. 
And some of my servants said I at the gates that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. The Bible learning says, In today's scripture passage, we learn about Nehemiah, restoration and faith in action. God gave Nehemiah a vision to rebuild the wall. He cried, prayed, and fasted after hearing that the wall hadn't been rebuilt. He had lived in exile under the king's rule, but would receive permission to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the city's walls. Nehemiah kept his mission a secret because he didn't want to face opposition before he started. Nehemiah and others committed to rebuilding the wall in spite of opposition from Sambalat, Tobiah, and Geshem. And he reminded the builders that God would give them success. Why was Jaden giving Will a hard time? What advice did Erica give Will? And what does it mean to give your faith some feet? What did Nehemiah want to do? Review Nehemiah. Chapter 2, verses 17 through 18. How did some people respond to Nehemiah's plan? Review verse 19. Nehemiah chapter 2. And what other good deeds did Nehemiah perform in the name of the Lord? Review Nehemiah 13, verses 1 through 22. Today you learned about putting faith in action. How can you apply what you learn to your own lives? How can you use your faith to take action and perform good deeds? Consider today's passage. Develop a plan to implement implement what you learn and share your thoughts on social media. The memory verse for today's lesson. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Nehemiah 2 verse 18. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. James chapter 2 verse 26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, So faith without works is dead also. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 through 13. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Proverbs chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, 
and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Psalm 124, verses 1 and 2. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. That was Psalm 124. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Psalm 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, and trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. That was Psalm 37, verses 1-5. through 5. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Verse 3 says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Matthew chapter 22 beginning at verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 11. Discretion shall preserve thee, and understanding shall keep thee. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Psalm 9 verse 9 The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 through 4 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14-16 through 16. 
as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Isaiah 61, beginning at verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Joel chapter 2 verses 25 and 26. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm my great army which I send among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7 says, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. Let your word have free course. Let, let your word be received into good ground and bring forth fruit that will remain. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.